Hi, it's Andy from Andy Bell Photography and today we're looking at the latest update to Topaz Denoise AI which my previous tests show to be one of the best if not the best noise reduction programs. I've taken a bunch of images for the purpose of showing you the new fe features in this software and we'll start with this first image it's a nighttime scene I'm just opening it up in Exposure X5 which is by the way an extremely good image browser and I've developed it from the raw image without applying any particular adjustments and if we zoom in we can see that this nighttime scene which I shot handheld well there's quite a lot of noise in it um, particularly in the darker areas and the reason I'm using this image is because Topaz noise or denoise AI features a new low light mode which significantly improves the noise in low light images. Okay so let's switch over to Topaz denoise AI and at the moment I've got all the noise settings turned off so we're seeing the same picture that we saw in Exposure X5. Let's just talk through the interface you've got your main preview here and you've got a navigator here so you can scroll around the image. You've got a few options, this is a new one, masking, which we'll come back to a little bit later. And you've got this new low light mode. So this image I took it last night and clearly there's a lot of areas where the lighting is really really poor in it. To start with we'll just turn on auto detect settings this is often the best way to start with Topaz Denoise as it analyzes the image and has a reasonable go at removing the noise and we can see there's an improvement if I go back to the original just by holding uh, by clicking view split view that's what it was that's what it's become but it, it's not perfect so let's turn on low light mode and now we can see a much bigger improvement if we look at, at the wall here whereas it used to look like that now it looks like that now that's on the automatic settings one of the nice features is that we can choose to recover original detail so if I put that on about 50 and then we can again compare do you see the noise has gone but the detail in the wall and in the road has remained that's very very impressive let's go and look over the car park that's better as it's updated the preview again we can see well there's very little shadow detail there it couldn't pull that back but it's done a terrific job on the wall here and on the whatever this thing beside the road is and the road itself I mean there's no obvious noise in the picture anymore I haven't even had to adjust for chroma noise it might be worth putting that up and seeing if it makes any difference but well I'd be very very happy with that picture now this picture was taken with an APS-C interchangeable lens camera um, it does suffer from noise this is an ISO 3200 image so you'd imagine that there would be a lot of noise but the result of that well I would certainly be able to use that and be able to make a good print from that so that shows you the power of Topaz AI with a low light a very very noisy image but what about a more ordinary image Let's see what it can do with one of those. Okay, so here's a picture I took of one of my wife's favorite teddy bears. He's a regular model for me in these sort of tests. He's very cheap to hire and don't have any trouble negotiating model release forms with him. So he's quite a useful asset. You can see I took this again at ISO 3200 and if we zoom in go full screen we can see there's not as much noise as in the low light image but there's a considerable amount of noise 
and again in his eyes there's noise as well so let's take that one into denoise AI and again we'll just turn on the auto detect settings and we can see immediately that it has made a considerable improvement to the noise now in previous versions of denoise AI sometimes it would desaturate the image a bit the scarf used to in previous images get very desaturated but not this time they fixed that bug there's still some chroma noise in there we can get rid of that yep that's gone now so we've got a very nicely done image looks much better than it did before there's a little loss of detail in the scarf let's just pull the detail back so we can see a little bit more of the structure of the scarf there but again not particularly any noise remaining and again the teddy's eye is very clear compare what it was to what it is now so again just using the auto settings and a little tweak to the detail then it has done a very very good job with the image I've tested denoise AI against other tools such as DXO with its prime denoise algorithm and also Photo Ninja, which has an extremely good noise reduction process, but Denoise AI is consistently better than them. So that's how Denoise AI works with a regular image. There's just one thing left to show you, and that's this thing about masking. So we'll cover that next. One new feature of Denoise AI is its ability to selectively apply noise reduction rather than applying it to the whole image. You might wonder, why would I want to do that? Well, noise reduction does have an impact on the whole image. And what if you've got an image which is only noisy in certain areas? I've got a, a demo picture here. Obviously, it's nothing special, but it's a picture that does demonstrate what can happen where you've got an extreme range of tones in the picture. Here, I took a picture of a test chart and it's actually on a black leather chair but you can't see the black leather chair in this image but what you do in your raw converter is brighten up the dark areas while trying to leave the light areas alone as you can see I've done that here so now you can see that it is actually on a chair of some kind you can see the stitching which you couldn't really see in the original picture but the lighter areas remain relatively unaffected. If I zoom in, you can see again that there's noise in the dark area, but there's no noise in the light area of the picture. This is a technique that we often use, especially if you've got a camera where the sensor is what's known as ISO invariant, which means that you can shoot at say ISO 100 and then brighten up the dark and shadow areas in your raw converter to the exactly the same level of quality as if you'd increased the ISO in your camera. It's a very useful technique where the dynamic range of the picture is too great or you're shooting at night where there's often very bright areas and very dark areas. And if you're hand holding, you want to be able to get the best quality, but normally you dial in ISO 3200 and just stomach it. Well, you can stick at ISO 100 deliberately underexpose the image by four or five stops and then rescue the whole thing in the raw converter and the well exposed highlights in the image don't have noise in them because you've only brightened the darker areas it's quite an advanced technique but when it comes to removing the noise from the dark areas well having gone to all that trouble to get the highest quality in the highlights you don't want to apply the noise reduction to them as well and this is where the new topaz masking comes in 
So I've opened the image in Denoise AI and I've started to apply the mask. To do that you click masking mode and it's effectively painting the mask over the areas of the picture that you want noise reduction to apply to. You have a lot of control over the mask applicator. You can set the radius so if you're painting large amounts of the picture you can set a very big applicator. And when it comes to perhaps just fiddling with little details, then you can reduce the size down a bit. Now the mask is pretty well on. If we go over to one area of the picture where I've not applied it properly, I've got a few little areas to just tidy up. And you'll notice that there's an inner circle and an outer circle on the mask applicator. I've ticked edge aware, and that means I can now apply the mask and any edges that are in the outer circle get detected. So that way the mask has been properly applied to the areas of the, the image that I want masked and it hasn't crept in to the areas that I don't want masked. So that's very powerful and when we're done we click apply mask. So having applied the mask, I've now entered the basic noise reduction settings, I've let it auto detect, and it's only applied noise reduction to the area that was masked, which is basically everything but the white area of the image. Now of course in a, a simple image like this you don't see a lot of change, but if the lighter areas perhaps had a lot of detail, perhaps you've captured a high dynamic range image where there's a lot of detail that you don't want affected in the lighter area, then this masking is really, really useful for doing that. And as you can see, when we do the before and after, it has successfully reduced the noise in the picture. And it's even, as you can see in the lettering here, which I didn't, um, un I didn't exclude, it's actually sharpened that up a little bit, which is another impact that denoise AI has, another effect that it has, is, is it will sharpen the image. It compensates for the loss of detail involved in removing noise and it's a very powerful feature. So that's the new release of Topaz denoise AI and the new features of low light mode and masking just improve what was already an excellent tool. There's no question in my mind that if you've got noise in an image that you want to remove, there's no better place. There's nothing that comes near to this tool for accomplishing this job. Mm -hmm.